The History of Cheerleading In 1989, cheerleading was born when a young man from the University of Minnesota named Johnny Campbell initiated the first organized cheer at a football game to help pull the team out of their losing streak. He, together with his male compatriots, laid the foundation for modern cheerleading by putting together yell squads. They were groups of men who would yell to the crowd during sporting events to keep their spirits up. Cheerleading did not become a female-dominated practice before sometime in the 1940s as young men were being shipped off to fight in World War II. At this time, cheerleading was becoming a more organized practice. The choreography started becoming more elaborate and you started to see some stunting and gymnastics appearing. By the 1960s, cheerleading had become so popular in the USA that it led to the creation of the National Cheerleading Association. The NCA was used as a means to hold several training camps in order to better educate women in the art of cheering. Through these training camps, cheerleading was able to achieve a new level of excellence. This led to the appearance of the professional cheerleading squads. Since the 1970s, cheerleading has been requiring more elaborate and complicated stunts. Every year, competitive cheerleading routines get more difficult. Unfortunately, in pop culture, cheerleaders are usually subject of ridicule due to the sport's predisposition for preppiness and overexcitability. They have often been portrayed as ditzy, unintelligent, and they usually bear sexual connotations. Hopefully, this video has helped you realize that today, in 2014, cheerleading is a sport, and it is a sport that requires a lot of skill and tenacity. Thank you.